on everybody welcome back to the channel my name is Jamie if you're new here I've got another grocery haul for you today and um, I have hit up Sam's Club I did go to Hobby Lobby and I went to Tractor Supply today but the shopping is not over yet because I still have to go to a feed store because I got to get all the animals their food and I still got to go to Walmart to finish my actual grocery shopping but we're starting with Sam's Club let me show you what I got. Quick scan of the Sam's Club haul. Um, all right, we're gonna start over on this side. I ended up getting, I ended up getting the bread. I ended up getting the Sara Lee Delightful Bread. Why? Because there is only 45 calories per slice. Our beloved Texas bread, Miss Beards, um, is actually 70 calories. This is 45 calories per slice. And in case y'all are wondering, where did it go? It is also doo -doo 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 -doo, uh, five grams of protein. So definitely want to make sure that you get your protein up plus keeping your calories in a deficit. So we got the bread and we got a big old thing of Parmesan cheese. I seem to be picking this up every time I go grocery shopping. Um, we're gonna be doing chicken Caesar salads and I've got you know, Alfredo sauces that I make and just whatever else. So I go through it. I would just go ahead and get the big thing of Parmesan cheese. The only reason why I haven't done this, I do this every once in a while, but when I stop getting it over at Sam's Club, it's because I tend to, I'll, I'll take like pauses in using it and then it gets like moldy at the bottom. So anyway, we're back on it again. There you go. We had to go get some more OxyClean because we were out. We got another bag of the Honeycrisp apples. Yep, there's the words, Honeycrisp, four pound bag. Love it. Actually ate the last apple that we had in the refrigerator this morning with my breakfast. It was delicious, had to get more. We got the famous Dots pretzels. Charlotte requested I get the red bag or the yellow bag, she wasn't sure. But uh, Sam's Club does have the big bag. It's the 35 ounce bag and I think it's, it's like $10. I'm rounding it up honestly, it's like $9 and change. It's basically $10 for this big old bag. You could go to like Academy or Walmart and they've got smaller bags for roughly around the same price so it is actually better to get it over at Sam's. Uh, moving on to produce, I just got some iceberg lettuce. I wanted to actually get the uh, romaine lettuce. I always got my romaine lettuce over at Sam's Club because you get like six things of romaine. It was like really cheap, but none of their romaine lettuce was looking good, y'all. So I had to pass up on that. I'll probably go get it at the other store. So, but we just stuck with the iceberg. I uh, had to get some more broccoli florets, grapes, y'all. I have been craving some green grapes and you know, <laughs> if you know, you know, Sam's Club has got like the best grapes because they are huge and they're crisp is amazing. So um, I'm not getting the berries, y'all. The berries are way too expensive. I'll wait till they come back in season and the price drops. But until then, we will stick with apples, grapes. And then when I go to the other store, I'm going to pick up some bananas as well. I did get the Just Bear Chicken Bites. So they have the chicken strips, but they also have the chicken nuggets. Uh, they're both roughly the same price. Not roughly. They are the same price. You get uh, 48 ounces, which is uh, translates to three pounds apparently. They're lightly breaded for three ounces. It's 160 calories, 16 grams of protein. So I guess the macros are really good. Very low in carb, not a lot of fat. Hopefully Charlotte will like these a lot better. She has changed her taste buds or excuse me, I should say, her taste buds have changed. She no longer likes the Tyson chicken nuggets, which I am totally fine with. So I figure we would just go with this. Oh, I'm so glad that Sam's Club still has the Chobani, Chobani Zero Sugar Greek Yogurt. Um, and more exciting is that um, this particular box has a milk and cookies flavor and a strawberry cheesecake. Now, before when, when Sam's Club first came out, with the box of the Chapani uh, Zero Sugar Yogurts. Uh, they had like the vanilla, they had the mixed berry, I think they had a strawberry and one other one, but these two are new, so that is exciting. Can't wait to try that. We got the chips, y'all. <laughs> we got two boxes of chips. Uh, Megan had requested these ones because it's got the spicy chips. She is all about the spicy chips. She likes the flaming Hot Cheetos, uh, spicy nachos. Uh, she said that these were actually really good, the spicy sweet chili Doritos. I have not had those myself, but, um, and then of course, cheddar jalapeno. I like spicy chips too, but the ones I really like, 
what are they, the, ch uh, the spicy like cheddar fries or something? I think it's by Cheetos. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's not in this bunch. Um, <laughs> and then of course you got Fritos and Ruffles. And then this is something more that Charlotte will lean towards for her school lunches. And it's just your, your basic chips, but those and like barbecue are like are her favorites. So anyway, that was a request. Pepperoni. I did pick up a thing of pepperoni. Now I was getting it in the smaller portions over at Walmart, uh, because I like to do the Italian pepperoni vegetable quiche. Um, but Megan was just kind of, she's like, mom, what the heck? Where's the pepperoni? Where's the salami? Which I have to go to the store to go get salami because their salami was not looking very good. Um, and honestly, neither was their ham. I was going to buy this big container, like full of ham, freeze one half. Cause I saw a YouTuber do this and then just, you know, use the other half. Um, but y'all they're their ham, their turkey, their salami was not looking good. It looked like there was cartilage going through all like the lunch meat, the pepperoni was the only one that looked good. So it's the only one I got. I've got a different couple of different recipes that I use with this. So this will get used. So I can uh, shut her up with some, <laughs> a whole bunch of pepperoni. <laughs> um, so we got the Dr. Pepper zero sugars and Coca-Cola zero sugars. And the other thing that I had to get is um, some cat food for River. Y'all, she is going to be good for like the rest of the year. I'm not kidding. I know I said this with the trash bags. Hang on. I'm telling you, I buy this like once a year. All right. I'm actually going to write today's date. Today is February 1st, obviously 2024. Okay. I've got the date written on here. We're going to see how long it takes me to get through this bag because the bag that we have in the, um, where we keep the animal food, um, it's getting low. Like she wasn't completely out, but it's getting low. I'm going to, I mean, like she probably would have had like a couple more days left and then that was it. But I'm telling you, I rarely have to ever buy her cat food. I really do think this actually lasts me a whole year, but I wrote the date on it and, um, and then we'll see when it comes time to have to buy a new bag and I can point out and be like, ha ha ha, I was right. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But, um, we'll have an idea of how long this actually lasts me for with one cat. So I did end up going to tractor supply. Not that everybody does this, but I happen to have goats and chickens and pigs. And <laughs> I did get the goats some more goat treats and I had to go get them their goat mineral. Um, this is a coupon compost. This is actually really good. I just like put it the bottom of the, um, the chicken, the chicken coop. And then it actually does, um, neutralize the odor. It doesn't smell so, so bad. And then I picked up some more egg cleaner. This helps me wash the eggs. I had run out of this, like, I don't know, like weeks ago. And when I don't have this, I just use some Dawn dish soap and a little scrubby pad and it works just fine. The other thing that is still sitting outside is my pine shavings for the chicken coop. But I just told you, I don't really necessarily need to show you, but that is what I got over at Tractor Supply. Oh, by the way, okay, so for Sam's Club, let's jump back to this, all of this plus the cat food, but then, so that plus all of this uh, came to uh, $200, what was it? $207. So I think that's actually pretty good, you know, considering. So, and then I did have some savings, I think, the OxyClean was an instant savings. I think I like saved $4 and some changed on that. So yeah, this all came to $207. And then I spent $66 on this over at Tractor Supply plus the pine shavings. And then I went over to Hobby Lobby because we just got a new bed set. So I wanted some new lamps to go um, on our matching nightstands. So these were over at Hobby Lobby. I think these are really pretty. I really like the color. But anyway, I just thought this like this was like really neat because it was open. And because of that, I bought these, these little greenery balls that are going to get put in there. And I think that will look really cute on the nightstand. And I really like the height of this. Now there were lamps over there that I really wanted, but they were way too tall. They were like 30 inches tall. The lamp that I have in my bedroom right now is 22 inches tall. These are 24. So I like the height. 30 inches would have been way too tall for the bedroom. But anyway, I just thought it looked really cute. And here was the other thing. <laughs> same exact lamps, same height, but look at the prices. This was on sale for $49.99 and this was on sale for $59.99. And I was like, um, so which is it? 
they gave it to me for this price. So yay for that. We just got back from Walmart and this is the haul. I'm gonna go ahead and start over on this side. Um, I had to pick up some light brown sugar. Um, kids had requested some waffles. You know, I could not find Walmart's brand of waffle. So I ended up having to go with the Eggo, which I'm not mad about. It's just, you know, cost. So they asked for the chocolate chip and the blueberry. Um, they didn't have great value anything. So it's kind of crazy. Um, Charlotte had requested some more ham and cheese hot pockets. So I would have, I, oh, this is only the five pack. I would have gotten like the really big box. It's got like 12 in them, but I don't think I have the freezer space. So we just have to get a little one for right now. Um, I had to get some beef broth, beef broth. Boy, I'm always tongue tied when I say that beef broth for a recipe, uh, some red enchilada sauce in the mild. I'm going to be doing, uh, a recipe I'll tell you about when I show you my meal plan. I got a can of crushed tomatoes, 28, 28 ounce can. Um, with the produce, I got some tomatoes on the vine. I really wanted to get these uh, in case I wanted a sandwich, but more specifically, I want to make my own pico. I've got some jalapenos in the refrigerator I want to use up. And the last time I made some, my, um, I made some homemade pico de gallo and it was perfect. So I wanted to do that again. So I got some of the tomatoes. Uh, I got some whole mushrooms. I've been kind of on a mushroom kick lately. I like sauteed up some mushrooms and I put it in my eggs with like tomatoes and spinach and it was like so good. I really liked it. So I wanted to get some more of that. I uh, got some more, um, uh, not some more, but I got carrot chips. I usually like to get the shredded carrots for our salads, but I thought this would just be like a nice healthy snack. Just getting the carrot chips. Megan really likes carrot chips as well. And I actually, if y'all, <laughs> if y'all know who N Nicole Burgess is, she uh, she did a grocery haul where she got these, and she also picked up this honey jalapeno hummus. And y'all, that sounded so good. I wanted to try it myself. I've also been on a honey kick. A lot of recipes I've been doing have involved honey. So this just sounded awesome. So I wanted, you know, this with this, and I've also got broccoli. Uh, in my Sam's Club haul, so I figured that would be good, it, which is so crazy because I am not a per I'm not a hummus person. I'm not, not even close. But I don't know, y'all. It just sounded really good. Moving on. <laughs> Speaking of honey, I got Jamie's uh, raw honeycomb honey. This is so cool. I've been wanting to get this because look, if you could see this, there is actually a honeycomb inside the bottle. And I just thought that was so cool. Not only did I think it's cool that there is an actual honeycomb in the bottle, but it's also got my name on it. Super cool. Um, I got some sugar-free blackberry jam. Uh, I do still have some grape jelly in the refrigerator, but this is sugar-free and it's only 10 calories, which is awesome. And I didn't know that they even made blackberry jam. Blackberries are one of my favorite Berries. Charlotte requested some of the Belvita Crunch. This is cinnamon brown sugar, so grab those. Megan's request some flavor blasted extra cheddar goldfish. And she also chose some cashews. These are halves and pieces, so she wanted this for her lunchbox. And she also requested some of the kosher dill baby pickles. The little tiny baby pickles. I like Velas or well, Velasic is good, but I prefer um Awesome, but I was like, okay, you want to snack on it, you can get it. Moving on down here, I got another block of uh, sharp cheddar cheese. Had to get another big bag of mozzarella cheese. My husband's going to see this video and he's going to be like, who is this woman? She does not like Velveeta. I know. <laughs> I know <laughs> what has gotten into me. It is a Mexican style blend of shredded cheese. The only reason I got this is because for a quarter cup, it is only 60 calories and has five grams of protein. And I just thought, you know, maybe with our tacos, this I mean, maybe it could be good. I mean, I don't like the Velveeta kind of cheese that you like melt and make macaroni and cheese with. I That's, bleh, doesn't taste right to me. But maybe this will be good. So I don't know. I'm going to give it a try. We'll see what happens. Uh, I did pick up one zucchini, one yellow squash, um, some of the Yo Crunch and the Oreo and M&M as usual. Um... Oh, this was not with our produce. I did pick up some more baby spinach. Like I said, I've been on a kick with like the spinach and mushrooms and tomatoes and my eggs. So plus I also like to throw it in my salad. So really good. I can't do cooked spinach unless it's chopped really, really fine. And I like it in my salad. So anyway, 
Got some hamburger buns. Um, we went a little crazy on the tortillas. Uh, so we've got these these small tortillas. It's by the La, Tor La Tortilla Factory. It sounded really good. Homemade style tortillas, soft and flexible. For one tortilla, it's only 90 calories and it does have five grams of protein. We got this for a recipe that I will tell you about when we get there. Y'all, Mission Top, the Mission brand came out with chalupas. Y'all, chalupas are one of my favorite things to get at Taco Bell. <laughs> you do need to cook these. Um, you could do it in an air fryer, your oven, or a frying pan. And when we have taco night, I just thought that this would be a fun little change up. So I did get that. Uh, we also are going to be doing chicken fajitas one night. And so I got some more of the smaller um, carb counter, uh, but 60 calories for one tortilla. It does have three grams of protein and 11 grams of fiber. That is really good, y'all. So we stocked up on some tortillas. Uh, picked up some breakfast sausage because you just never know when I feel like making a breakfast casserole. Uh, some spreadable cream cheese. I do. I did get a little crazy on the cinnamon rolls. I got four of these. Hello. Four of just the great value cinnamon rolls. I did get four of these because I plan on making monkey bread and bring it to church probably this Sunday coming up. I'll make two because the last time I made monkey bread and brought it to church, one was not enough. So I will make two. And going on with the cinnamon rolls, y'all, they've got hot cocoa cinnamon rolls. That just sounded amazing. So definitely got one of those. Some more seasoned croutons, unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Had to get some more heavy cream, all for recipes. Fair Life, I did grab the Fair Life. This is the 2% reduced fat milk. And the reason why I got this is because I just got, an, well, not really just, I, for Christmas, I got one of those Ninja Creamies and I hear that the Fair Life milk is really good for making those Ninja Creamies. It's 120 calories for one cup. It's got 13 grams of protein, y'all. That is really good and only four and a half grams of fat. Moving on, got some of the cheesy Mexican rice. I like to make this whenever we do tacos or burritos or any kind of Mexican dish. They used to make the, um, they make a Spanish rice. I don't know if I've tried that one. They used to have a cilantro lime and that was so good. I loved it. Megan didn't really like it because she doesn't like cilantro, but we love this one. It's so good. Um, I got a jar of some of the instant uh, instant yeast because you know making bread now um, I, all right this is just not something I would typically buy it's sliced chicken sausage it's pecan smoked chicken sausage again my husband's gonna be like who is this woman um, I just thought this would be a really good lunch option I wanted to uh, cook up some of the chicken sausage and saute it with the zucchini and yellow squash, maybe some mushrooms. The chicken sausage, y'all, is actually really good. The macros are really good. For two ounces, it's 130 calories, 12 grams of protein with this. Uh, there is no fiber, eight grams of fat, and one carb. I think I've tried chicken sausage like one other time, but it wasn't like this, and I don't think it was this brand. I really like this brand, and pecan smoked. It has to be good. I'll let y'all know. Uh, deli meats. Okay, so back to when Megan was giving me a hard time about not having salami. We got the salami. We got the ham. And we also got some of the third less fat. I don't know how to say that word, but cream cheese <laughs> for a recipe. Uh, some creamy Caesar dress. Balsamic vinaigrette. This is in the light. Uh, we got some caramel rice cakes because these are really good for only one rice cake. It is 50 calories. It does have less than one gram of protein. These are a good low carb snack, so I wanted to get one of those. I got a big bag of, uh, not, a, not as big of a bag as I wanted to. I completely forgot when I was at Sam's, I wanted to get their 25 pound bag of all purpose flour and I left the damn store without it. So I ended up getting, this is a 10 pound bag of flour, y'all. The Walmart, our Walmart, is completely out of flour. So I don't know if everybody is just like on this bandwagon of like, let's make our own bread, but all the flour was gone. So I got, this is literally the last bag of all-purpose flour. So I did grab that. Um, sticking with the food, kids wanted Lunchables. Megan does not like school food all that much. So I told her she could get a few Lunchables to take with her. And Charlotte, I'm gonna go ahead, I guess this is probably Charlotte's because she wanted one too. If her sister gets one, she's gotta get one. And so we got the Mar ham and American sub sandwich. 
We got uh, pepperoni with the pizza. Excuse me. Pizza with pepperoni. Good lord, can't read. And we got a turkey and cheddar sub. If my camera could just focus, that'd be fabulous. There it is. Okay. And then for the oh no 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 no, we're gonna come back over here. Um, I did get two things, uh, two things of ground turkey and two packages of chicken breast. And then for the non-food items, I just got some of. I just had to go get some more bleach. Um, needed to get another hair stopper. The girls need this in their bathroom. It does work, but the one that they had in their bathroom is just, eh. So we got another one. <laughs> uh, had to get some more Dawn. And uh, Megan wanted, she had tried out the Heritage shampoo conditioner. She got the wrong one. She's going to give it to me, but she, she loves it. But this is the one she was actually going for. So I let her get this one. And the first one that I got, uh, she's just going to give it to me. So anyway, that is it for our grocery haul. All of this came to $2.97. Absolutely ridiculous. I have a plan literally for everything here. Let me show you our meal plan. Our dinner plan for the next two weeks, we are doing uh, chicken fajitas one night, Mexican chicken tacos, which is why I got the enchilada sauce. And we're gonna be doing some cheeseburgers. Oh, that was another thing I meant to get. Our Walmart kind of sucks because I could not find, I wanted to find a thing of like the frozen Bubba burgers just to make that dish, you know, nice and easy, but they didn't have any, so. Anyway, we're going to do burgers at one point. Cheese raviolis. Charlotte would have the raviolis with no sauce. Megan wants the raviolis with sauce. And I want the raviolis with sauce and meat. <laughs> so we're just going to alter it in every way. And once again, uh, raviolis, cheese raviolis. Our Walmart sucks so bad, they don't even carry it. I've even asked workers and they're like, we don't carry raviolis. I'm like, who are you people? Anyway, uh, chicken Caesar salad we're doing one night, a Cobb salad, we're doing cracked chicken soup, a taco bowl, linguine with chicken and mushrooms. We're gonna do a chicken teriyaki stir fry, buffalo chicken wraps, we're doing mini tacos, keto chili. Um, the only reason why it's actually titled keto chili is it just doesn't have any beans in it. Um, and I have uh, my traditional chili recipe, but then I also have a keto chili recipe, and that one's really good. It also helps me use up some jalapenos that are in the refrigerator, so that'll be really good. And then pizza and salad, and I think one other thing that I wanted to write on here is um, some cheese steaks because I just got some rolls on clearance, and then I got the, um, the sh shaved beef in my last grocery haul, so... Maybe I'll do that one night. I'm not sure. <laughs> if I can't get raviolis, we'll probably add it on there. So anyway, that is what is for dinner for the next couple of weeks. It has gotten so dark and I got dinner in the oven. It's gonna be done here in about two more minutes and I gotta get all this put away. Y'all, thank you so much for following me. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe down below if you haven't done so already. Hit the like button, share with somebody you love and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.